update the salesforce object now we have received the access token use this token to call the api to update the object or insert the record set this token in the request header like below authorization bearer space then the access token in the request body put the data to be inserted request url you have to construct like below instance url that we get it from the access token call then slash services slash data slash the version slash s objects then the object name it can be account user or any custom objects send the request you will receive a job id along with the response the job id is used to get the information about this transaction like status now we will create one more request to update the customer object so i'm creating a new request this is also a post method here here we have to get the instance url we got it from here so url looks like this so this is the url instance url then this service i'm copying this here and pasting it here and replace this instance url from the instance url you got it from here is the instance url then the so objects then the object name you have to get it from object name that customer we created go to the object manager here you can see customer this is the customer object this is the custom object we created this you can see one more this already existing in the salesforce platform this is a standard object this one what we created customer underscore underscore c copy this and paste it here now in the header we need to add the authorization that is a bearer token go to the headers here here authorization bearer then the access token access token you have to get it from here space and the access token then in the body we need to add the data here what you are inserting for that object this is a customer object i am adding this data here this is a json format change it to json here now we added the json format you can see header is authorization we added already now other details are there default authorization and the content type you can see the application slash json now hit this service it is throwing error no such column amount on this object customer underscore c is not finding this object let's check this customer this amount everything should ends with prefix underscore underscore c let's go to the object now here click on this customer object in the fields you can see amount see amount underscore underscore c add this and for name everything we'll add name is customer name this is the name we are adding this name and the id here then the payment underscore underscore c hit the service again now you can see the status is 201 it is created the id it return back this id job id you can note this id success true errors null now we can verify this in the ui go to the salesforce go to the app launcher view all 
customer app in the customers tab you can see one more row is added this is the new row we can select the uh, this one fields to display here click on view all here you can see all the fields are there what we entered amount name prashant payment type okay these are the details we added here this is the details it is updated in the sales post object so record is inserted successfully so this way we have verified now this data is inserted successfully this one we have verified through the salesforce ui there is one more api also to verify this we will see that in the next lecture